All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Welcome to our um, brief and, for us, very exciting uh, introduction to Living Resilience 2018. This is Dean Walker, and in just a moment, uh, Carolyn Baker's smiling face will be up on the screen. And Carolyn and I are here to uh, talk about and introduce um, what for us is, has been a while in coming and a really exciting and really timely offering of um, a, a series of online and live offerings in 2018 to um, bolster all of our inner toolkits and uh, expand our capacities to basically face the predicament laden world we've got heading at us at a thousand miles an hour. So uh, let me have your face show up there. There's Carolyn. Hi, hi Dean. You yes. know, um, I am so excited about this. This is this is an endeavor that we've been actually working at for a couple of years. I, we might even be going into three years now, I'm not sure. Um, you know, just conjuring and talking about and dreaming and, and you know, d doing different events. And it's just, it's just continued to snowball and grow. And uh, we're getting a lot of help from the external world, obviously, in, uh, in, in taking us to deeper places within ourselves. A lot of them that we don't want to go to, but events in the world are compelling us to go to these deeper places, these places of grief and anger and fear um, that we thought we already had touched, but now we're being compelled to go more deeply into those, but we're gonna to need tools and practices to help us do that. And that's called becoming resilient. And you know, resilience as we all know, or I hope we all know, is not about bouncing back. There is no bouncing back. It's about a transformational process that happens as we open to, with tools, with support, as we open to these crazy events. And as I like to say, we are creating islands of sanity in a sea of chaos. Yeah. You know, uh, Carolyn, it seems like one of the consistent themes um, that I think really you brought from the many books that you've written in the past 10 years or more um, is that what happened to get us here is to this place where we're knee deep in predicaments is that we've disconnected. We've disconnected from our deeper selves, from each other and from the earth. And what I'm particularly excited about is that this kickoff, this summit, this uh, series of online uh, gatherings that we're doing in February is, um, is designed to be uh, an expression of thought leaders, journalists, activists who are on the same page with your books and certainly with my book as well, The Impossible Conversation, which is we've got to get ourselves reconnected. Whether we are the kind of folks that are seeing something happening in 2100 in some vague far away 2100 or we see some the things that are going on right now and are deeply concerned about it, it seems like no matter what our timing is that we project or imagine, that the only task that will really bolster us in any significant way is a, uh, the installation of practices that reconnect us with our deeper self, with each other, and with the earth. And we have got an incredible group of guest presenters for that summit. I was wondering if you could start us off by describing a bit about um, one of our first speakers, which is going to be Becca Martinson. Yeah, Becca is a uh, therapist and a life coach, and uh, she's been married for several years to Chris Martinson, uh, who has the Peak Prosperity website that many people are familiar with. Uh, but Becca's been a real trooper in her own right. Um, she was on the board of a school in Vermont that, um, you know, completely uh, established kids as being outside most of the time for their education in elementary and high school. So Becca is 
one of the most qualified people to, to be talking about connection with ourselves, with each other, and with Earth. And we've had her in our summits before. She always brings incredible dynamism, incredible warmth, incredible inspiration. And I'm really excited that she's going to be one of our first speakers. Yeah, me too. I, I can't, I literally can't think of a better exemplar of someone who has a foot in two worlds. And ironically, that's what we're naming this summit in February is having a foot in two worlds. And so uh, I really look forward to her starting us out. I'd also like to mention about Philip Shepard, who is uh, now an author of Some Renown. Um, he's just released his second book recently. And uh, what I'm tremendously excited about is, is that he's willing to join us for not one, but two sessions of the symposium or the summit in February. And his gift is to be able to draw our attention out of our head, which is, you know, we're obviously in this screen related world where we just have less and less connection with earth and with our deeper selves and with each other. He's able to draw our attention down to uh, what I might call other or alternative organs of perception. Particularly, he takes us down to the to pelvic bowl, the base of our body, mm -hmm. and orient ourselves in a tremendously empowering way to be able to give us a, a, an embodied sense of what it is to return to a sense of agency, a sense of being able to be so present in our life that we actually can return to making a difference, which I think is what most of us are, are stripped of that, have been stripped of that for most of our lives. So we're tremendously excited to have Philip Shepard on and to be bringing his unique exercises and distinctions. Um, those will be, again, two sessions of that. Yeah, he's quite amazing. I've been in I've been in one of his workshops as you have, and uh, boy, I don't know anyone who can take us so clearly and quickly into the depths of our bodies. And why is that important? Well, because it you know it it allows us to be present. And if we're not present to what's going on, and we're just you know floating around in the in the cerebosphere, um, we cannot be resilient. We've got to have that body presence in order. To to be resilient. You know, we've got a, a number of other guest speakers, and I don't know if we have enough time in this particular video to, to name them all, but one I would like to squeeze in here, no matter what, is I'm particularly excited to have Darja Mail back and speaking with us. He's been in earlier summits and symposia that we've created, and uh, he's very close to releasing his newest book, his uh, book about, um, I believe it's called the loss of ice. Gosh darn it, I'm sorry, I'm not remembering off yeah. the top of my head. But he's an extraordinary uh, journalist. Uh, and climate writer, by the way. And he's been uh, writing about uh, uh, anthro anthropogenic climate disruption or abrupt climate change for years now and uh, really pierces that conversation like no one else in mainstream media, that to be sure. And uh, he is also an avid mountaineer and has been uh, going around the world to research his book. So um, in terms of reconnecting ourselves with the earth and also uh, to provide for us some tools for how to find truth in a post-truth world, I think uh, um, Dar will give us tremendous guidance in both of those arenas. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm afraid our time is running out for this brief video. I will have more videos coming out. What we want to do is invite you all to come just be a part of this symposium. And what it's going to be is going to be Monday and Thursday evenings from 6 to 8 p.m. at Pacific time, Pacific West Coast time. And all of these sessions will be recorded. So if you couldn't make it on a night or any of the nights, they'll all be recorded. You will have access to them for at least six months after the the um, sessions of and, the and we begin we begin on February second, uh, correct? Mm -hmm. And we run through March first with this series. Exactly. And um, what we're trying to do is expand the 
expand the tribe, expand the amount of people who are aware of this level of conversation and give you as much of a, a, a leg up in this as possible. Meaning uh, most of us find it difficult to have these conversations with other people, to include even people that we're close with, our own family members and friends. Uh, the average person does not speak about this kind of stuff much. So what we'd like to do is make it as easy as we can for you, where we've priced this symposium, this summit, in such a way that hopefully there'll be some enticement for you to include some folks. Go out and have some conversations to invite them. And so uh, what we're doing is pricing this as uh, a ticket for one person to be a part of an all access pass to this summit will be $75. For two people, the ticket will cost $120 or $60 a piece. A ticket for four people will cost $100 or $25 a piece. I think you get the picture. We're doing what we can to make this as accessible as possible to as many as possible. And if, if you find yourself still unable to reach the amounts we're talking about, we're going to also, we, you know, we'll have on the screen while I'm talking right now, uh, you'll see my email address, safecircle at gmail.com. You just need to get in touch with us. The idea is we want folks to participate. We want you to have access to this extraordinarily uh, important, safe conversation for a conversation that is not inherently safe in our world. Um, so you've got the dates. They're on the screen as well. You've got my email address. If you have any questions at all, feel free to, to be in touch. And my, and my email address is as well, planetcarolynbaker.net. Very good. We'll put, be sure to put that up there. Me too. And we will be doing more of these uh, videos to introduce, and they'll be on our websites and on Facebook and so on. Um, you know, it's really our feeling that this is uh, a time like no other. And uh, we said the same thing two years ago and three years ago when we did other summits. But um, Carolyn, perhaps you'd like to wrap up our this video by saying what you feel the calling of these times are and how it got different in 2017. Well, I'm tracking it quite closely. As many of you know, I produce a daily news digest and have for going on 11 years now. And uh, we're really in a time of trauma, accelerated trauma like we have not seen in this collapse process before. Um, 2017 was kind of the kickoff of, of that more intense level of trauma. We're seeing lots of news stories where people are uh, talking about being traumatized and being disoriented with the chaos that's going on in the world and this administration in Washington, and the fear that people are living with. And so for those of us who are aware of the collapse of systems and aware of abrupt climate change, um, we have got to have tools, we've got to have strategies for moving through this, not just to survive. This isn't about just surviving. This is about becoming resilient. How could we, how could we actually thrive emotionally and spiritually on every level as we move through this rite of passage for our planet? Wow. Uh, thank you so much for that summary. It just went right to the heart of it. Look, we really want to see you on the screen. You know, I want you to join us in this uh, uh, cyber brief community, this temporary community that we'll put together in February. And uh, perhaps the last thing we could mention here is um, we also have a safe circle call that we in, uh, invite everyone to be on. It's free of charge, and it's uh, on the first, third, and fifth Thursdays of every month excuse me, Tuesdays of every month. Tuesdays, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's also at six o'clock uh, Pacific time for one hour. And uh, we will also have that information up on the screen here so that you can read that right now. And, and uh, I'd just like to say that, um, you know, we're, 
I want to really emphasize that we are launching a whole new body of work. So we're not just going to do this summit and then like you go your separate way and you know, you may never see these people again. We're structuring it so that there will be ongoing events, ongoing videos, ongoing live classes, ongoing opportunities to participate in all of this. Coaching is available from both of us. Okay. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of resources that we are streamlining for you in 2018 and just building and building and building so that it's not just a, you know, a one hit wonder, as they say. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. And so we look forward to, if you have any questions, please contact us. Otherwise, gather three of your favorite friends and sign up for that summit. And we look forward to seeing you on the screen with us. And um, let's have the best year ever in the face of a predicament-laden 2018. Carolyn, thanks so much. Thank you, Dean. Looking forward to seeing all of you online. <laughs>